Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Clara. I'm 94 years old. Today we are making some meals from the depression. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make some baked apples. We used to have baked apples, which were healthy and they were not expensive. So that's what we'd make for during the depression. First we have to core them. Then we take the sugar and cinnamon and mix them together and put them in the holes that you had cored your apples. Well, we'll do that now. Wash them, wash the apples, and then core them. Now we're going to wipe them off because I washed them. Get them ready for coring. It's going to be hard without the thing. I'm coring them, but I don't have the proper tool and I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm using a knife, which shouldn't be, I shouldn't be using this, but I don't have the proper utensil right now. My mom uses a proper tool to take out the, the core. I take out the center of the apple, and which means I'm coring them. And I don't have the proper tool right now, and I'm having a heck of a time. I usually have a tool called the core, and I can't find it now. So I'm using a knife, which makes it very difficult. I'll get it done, I hope, <laughs> properly. Now I'm going to mix the sugar and the cinnamon to put into the apple. This is the old-fashioned way we do it. Now they have the modern way. It's much easier. Yeah. So. The old-fashioned way takes too long. We're taking, getting modernized now. <laughs> Four tablespoons of the sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm mixing it up real good. I'm going to put a little more sugar in here. My mother used to make these very rarely, but when she did, it was a big project. But we loved them so much, so once in a while she'd make them to please us. Now I'm going to fill the apples with the cinnamon and sugar mixture. We usually make this whole smaller, but we didn't have the right tool, so we made it a little larger. That won't matter too much. Now we'll finish filling the apples. There's a lot of sugar. Well, we didn't make too too often, so when we did, it was okay. My brother's piece was bigger. I'd say, you got a bigger piece, and he'd have to give me some of his. Otherwise, vice versa. If I had the bigger piece, I had to give him his share. And we made sure it was even. We'd get satisfied at the end. My mother would give us a slap of piece, and that would settle everything. After I fill it with sugar, I'm dotted with butter. Put a little water on the bottom of the pan. I put the water so they don't burn. And put them in the oven to bake. That's all there is to it. After about 30 or 40 minutes, you pull them out of the oven. They should be ready. Wow. They got cooked. <laughs> That's how they look after they're cooked. They don't look so appetizing, but they're very delicious. I'm going to eat the famous dessert that we made, baked apple. They're very delicious, very appetizing, very colorful, very nutritious. <laughs> they are nutritious. This is my book. I'm sure if you get one, you'll enjoy it. 
and teaches you a lot of recipes. Very simple. It's easy, it's fast, and it's nourishing. And I'm sure the kids would like them. Can I lick the spoon? <laughs> Therese's got two beautiful boys, and I'm so thrilled to be her great-grandmother. <laughs>